Good morning, v Forbidden Lands. I almost said Vietnam there. <laughs> right reference, but wrong time. And welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with me, oh, it's Fu. And we just beat the swordsman. Hopefully. <laughs> oh. This is yet another re record of this. Um. Yeah just because I did like six records in a row, but I wasn't happy with any of them just because of... just because last week was a tough week. So, our next foe is in the land of vast green fields, row of guiding graves. It's this guy. Which... It is a giant indeed, but fearful it is not. I, I sort of know how to do this guy. Um, now, see, there's two ways I do this guy. Um, the first way, I'm not going to show you. It's the way I originally beat this guy uh, before I decided to do, a, to do a Let's Play. Where are you, horse? Here he is. Um, but yeah, that's that's the way I decided to do it before I did the Let's Play. The second way is what I'm going to show you, but don't worry, I'll still give you an idea of what I did, what I usually used to do. Alright, so now, I don't think I explained this. Um, press circle to hold out your sword, and you turn around until it goes to a point, like that, and your controller vibrates, and that'll show you which way to go to get to the next Colossus. Um, I know it's a bit late now, but... <laughs> Most people have played this, so... I didn't really... I didn't really think to give instructions. Not a good way to start a Let's Play, though. But yeah... Um... No, I was just pretty down last week, so I decided to redo everything. And... I'm hoping I'm... I'm, I'm Here's hoping. Here's hoping. I'm a lot. I'm a lot more happy with this one. And I ran. I ran so far away. Like a shark. I ran both night and day. I couldn't get away. Oh, every time I sing that song, no, now I've got the rest of AMV Hell 3 stuck in my head. I watch that thing like popcorn. Like you eat one, you can't, you can't, you can't just stop there. You gotta eat the whole bag. I sing one song, I can't just stop there. Gotta sing the whole thing. Cause I think the next one is um, do 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 the world from Kiev to Carolina she's a sticky finger thief from Berlin down to believe that's what I would usually do I would jump from the back of Epona here onto the Colossi's back after getting him turned around where did Agro go oh there there he is still up there um and just hope I'd hold on and usually it'd work out and by usually, I mean it would never work out, and I'd spend like three hours trying to get onto his back. <laughs> um, tell me where in the world is Garmin San Diego? <laughs> uh, there we go. And what we're supposed to do is climb onto those tassely things. And that's the way I'm going to be showing you. Um, hopefully. <laughs> this guy's pretty easy. Um, much easier than the last guy, actually. Once you get onto him, actually, at least. Uh, he just, very low health. Comparatively. Problem is, actually getting on his back. Because, as you can see, there's really no way to get his attention from here. Except by using the bow. And he doesn't really have a lot to a lot to show right now. So we're gonna 
do is we're gonna try to hit him. But we're gonna fail. Because this guy's a dick. And he does that. Um, so, it's Friday when I'm recording this. The night of uploading it. Because, you know, I was gonna do something this morning, but I decided not to. And I had something else that I was gonna do, but I don't have it completely figured out. Because, you know how I'm doing the Beyond Good and Evil and the This Let's Play. And I'm trying to do... I'm trying to alternate them. But... There's only much... So, as, as much as I love these two games, there's only so much Beyond Good and Evil and so much Shadow of the Colossus that I can play. Oh yeah, by the way, you have to hit the parts that are covered with moss or hair or whatever in order to get their attention. Otherwise... Are you halfway through this step? Yes, you are. I thought you were doing a little step-up thing, but you Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> you're, you're... I thought that you used your arm for, for a second. Um... But no, I've got something else that I'm thinking of doing. But... It's not really working out. So... Will you get over here? Something for Fridays, just to break the break the schedule. But I don't know, it's just not working out, you know? At least it didn't work out today. So I gotta think it through some more. Hopefully, hopefully I can get a couple other people working on this project too. That'd be nice. Be nice. Um I don't know, hopefully you, you all like the random videos I've been putting up, like the Time Splitters one, the Beat Mania one, Legend of Zelda, April thing. I like doing those. They're fun. It's another way to break the mold, you know? Right, hopefully maybe this will work. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Um... I don't know what I'm going to do after this. I'll probably go back to watching the Boondocks again. I love that show. It's probably... my favorite adult cartoon. Like, The Simpsons are okay. Futurama's okay. Uh, South Park's okay. They've all got their moments, but... I don't know. Boondocks... almost always delivers it for me. Just because of its being a satire. <laughs> um, like, the rest are pretty much farces. I mean, they've all got their satirical farces, parodies, whatever. They've all got their satirical elements, but they're not... And I mean, I guess everything is set the same in the end, but that's really par for the course for those shows. Um... I mean, they're unrealistic to begin with, where, where Boondocks is realistic in parts of the countries. Uh, in, in parts of the countries. In parts of the country. Oh, come on. We're at ten minutes already. Am I going to have to speed some of this up? Am I going to have to choke a bitch? I hope not. I've been waiting here for... Oh, goody. So yeah, you're supposed to wait for him to do that, and then jump off and climb up these things and hope hope to hell that he does not drop you off because that would piss me off because we'd be here for another five minutes waiting for him to get his act together and let us climb up him the bitch nope aha I have foiled your evil plot <laughs> you have thrown me where you tried to get me away <laughs> uh, that didn't, that one didn't come out as well as I hoped. Oh well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put your head down. Put your head down. I want to have to speed this up. 
Oh! For Christmas, for Christmas sake. Here, I'll chuck a bitch. No, 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 no. Ooh, that was close. But we made it. We are now on his head and we can stab his bald spot. Like that. And he'll writhe and throw us and everything. We'll have to speed this up. I mean, there's just some great lines and some great satire in there. Like, I was watching the episode where Grandpa's got all these pills from his doctor, and he's like, I don't want to, I don't want to take these pills, these things that will give me partial death. <laughs> like, that was one of the warnings when he was watching the commercial. Warning, may give you partial death or scrotal implosion. Scrotal implosion is not treatable. <laughs> um... It's just ridiculous. And then he, Thugnificent, who's now the UPS guy, comes by and gives him a, a spliff, a, a reefer, some weed, and he decides to smoke it. And he decides to, he gets caught and decides to do this whole campaign about why weed should be illegal. And at the end, he's like, okay, okay, I'll move to California where it's legal for me to smoke weed, being an old person and everything. Oh crap, we almost got thrown off. And... The judge lets him off, like, oh, okay, you can do that. As soon as you do three weeks of house arrest, uh, two years of probation, and we're gonna throw in some... We're gonna throw in some community service, just for the heck of it. <laughs> it's just funny. That's that's it. I, I can't explain why it's funny. I just think it is. Now, what was I watching? I was watching the episode where... Two guys kidnap Oprah, and it just tickles me always that Samuel L. Jackson does the the voice of one of the white guys that always tries to act like he's black. It's just funny. Come on, aggro! No, oh, we didn't make it again, guys. So I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Have fun.